All right, we're going to discuss how to choose the best hat shape for you. So as always in all my videos, number one, what are you going to be most comfortable in? And that's not just necessarily like a fit, but like what is going to match your personality. If you feel like you're making some big statement by the style of hat you're wearing, don't do that. So start that off. This needs to be comfortable. You need to be confident as you wear it. So I'm going to talk about some different style types and maybe why you would choose that. The one thing um, besides being comfortable is the region that you live in. Okay. Now I think depending on where you are in the country, I mean, you can have flat hatters next to, you know, guys that have more of the taco variety and it's no big deal. But if you kind of want to assimilate and be like everybody else, not make a statement, maybe think about where you're at and obviously what you're comfortable with. So I'm just going to describe a couple of these, of these hats here, you know, some differences in them and some, you know, choices you can make. So I'm going to kind of go on the extremes first. So when I think of hats, I think of, you know, tacoed hats, you know, real upright, um, both in the front and the back, maybe even taller crown, um, and then go to the extreme of, you know, flat hat and short brim. Okay. So here is a flat hat short brim. Now by short brim, I consider a short brim anything smaller than a four inch. For the longest time, um, they, you know, different styles of hats, I'm talking like in the 1800s, um, you know, there was lots of bowlers and short brims and then, you know, different, you know, styles came into be. And so for a really long time, a four inch brim was pretty common. And so nowadays it's like four and a quarter. So just a little bit bigger. So one of these will certainly stand out, you know, from like this, this is a four and a quarter. This will look significantly smaller. Okay. Um, reasons for this want to be a style thing. I have short brim hats, obviously for a style reason, but two, it's really windy here where we live. And so sometimes I do need some protection. Sometimes I do need some heat on my head, but I don't want to chase this thing across the pasture. So that would be maybe, you know, a reason why you would do a flat hat. Those who, I mean, do, do whatever you want, but those who might want to shy from this would be someone that's six foot plus, because this is going to really look small on you. If that's your style, party on, but Think about that a little bit, and we'll talk about that with some of these bigger brims. So here's kind of that extreme. Do it mostly out of a practicality thing. If you're just kind of a gentleman farmer dude, my dad really loves short brim hats like this. Okay, so then we're going to go to the extreme and then come back to the middle. So this is a four and a quarter brim, and it's kind of shaped pretty, you know, taco, straight up and down. If that's your style, do it. Um, some things that will make this look more upright than it actually is, different things like that, um, is how tall your crown is. And so when you're trying to pick a, a size, um, if you have four and a quarter brim and you kind of want, you know, your hat to look um, maybe bigger on your head than it is, you know, maybe you have a bigger jawline and that's something you don't super love about yourself. Maybe, you know, try different, you know, uh, crown widths, crown heights. And basically the rule of thumb that I have is the bigger the brim, the more dramatic your shape will be. So this, you know, tacoed ish look looks more dramatic if it was on a four or excuse me. Yeah. Like a four and a half inch brim. You don't think it would, but like it will look really taco. So keep that in mind as well. So that's that look. You're going to find that more in um, the South in Texas, Oklahoma, nothing wrong with it. Super functional. I like to think of it as kind of a knife through butter when it comes to wind. It kind of surprises me sometimes that up here we don't wear those. Okay. So then I'm going to go um, kind of back over to the flat hat area. So here's, here is a, um, a hat that, I mean, if I were to do a poll and guess, you'd probably think this brim is certainly bigger than this small one, but maybe even shorter than this. Once again, the bigger the brim, the more dramatic it looks. So this is actually a four and a quarter, kind of looks more like just like a straight four, kind of smaller. The reason for that is the bigger crown, different things like that. This is certainly a buckaroo look where the back is up. It's really flat. This hat I have mostly for windage reasons, summer, the whole deal. As if you're trying to choose for yourself, this would be in some ways kind of a statement hat. So if you're not trying to look like a buckaroo or if that's something you don't want people to think of you, maybe steer clear of a shape that is that flat and that squared over the top. Now for the majority of you, you know, folks that, you know, don't necessarily need to ascribe to one side or the other of this civil war of hats, a more moderate look. So not a taco, not a flat hat. Um, but basically something that I don't, I mean, that's probably a lot of people I've heard call it kind of the George straight look where it's, you know, doesn't really have um, a stark difference between the two. The biggest variations you'll see here are all these different crown vents, you know, dent types, whatever that's going to change the look of it for sure. Um, this guy here is certainly wider probably than a lot of you would wear. So you could take this look, narrow this up and you're heading towards, you know, this more tacoed look 
or kind of association quarter horse look. But that's something that I think, you know, if I was going to recommend someone for a first time buyer of a cowboy hat, maybe stay in this lane where you feel comfortable. I mean, there's nothing, you know, there's no big statement being said by a hat like this. And so I think beyond the, you know, obvious style differences in all of these hats, just think about what you're going to use it for. If it's just a fashion piece, then, you know, definitely choose something that you feel good about. If it's a work piece, maybe think about, um, you know, is there wind? Is there not wind? Am I in a hot climate? You know, things like that. I think, you know, a lot of us live in places where we're going to wear both felt and straw. And so like, if you're one of those people, you know, maybe have a different hat for a different reason. Obviously I probably have too many hats. So if you're looking to um, buy a hat and trying to figure out what's the best way to style it, hopefully this video helped you a little bit. So if you like this video and want to see more videos just like this, please like and subscribe to the Startup Company channel.